1965 in Kanilai village, Fonyi Kansala district, West Coast region witnessed the birth of a Pan-Africanist. The current president of the Republic of the Gambia, Chef Professor Dr. Alhaji Yaya Jame. The president's date of birth coincides with African Liberation Day. <music> president Yaya Jame received his early education at Kanilai Primary School. St. Edward's Primary School in Buyam and Gambia High School in Banjul. Like any other Gambian child, in 1983, he passed the General Certificates of Education, GCE O level, with credits in Geography, English, French, Biology, and Physics. Also obtained passes in Chemistry and Oral English. <laughs> After graduating from high school, President Jami served on the various military units in the Gambian National Army until the 22nd of July, 1994, when he led a group of young officers in effecting a peaceful change of government. Jami, who was 29 years old at the time, became the chairman of the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council. In 1996, Jami retired from the army and upon popular demand founded the Alliance for Patriotic Reorientation and Construction, APRC. He was elected as president in September 1996. Yeah, yeah. In the quest to pave the way for greater achievement in improving the country's human capital and steering its development, President Jaime has personally initiated a series of development projects such as the President's Empowerment for Girls Education Project, PEGEP, which provides scholarships to students from poor families. 22nd July 1994, on Friday. President Jami's Operation Clean the Nation initiative was conceived to enhance the physical cleanliness of the environment. <laughs> Chef Professor Jami's personal intervention in providing treatment for people suffering from chronic medical conditions such as HIV and AIDS, asthma, diabetes, hypertension, and women having difficulties in childbearing. Defense. Born into a great agrarian community, agriculture is so dear to President Jami. His philosophy is back to the land. The sole objective is to fight hunger and poverty. This is evidence. Because President Jami believes in cultural preservation. The Roots Homecoming and the Bujinga cultural festivals are clear manifestations. Into a role model country with lots of infrastructural development. For President Jami, leadership is a duty, a responsibility, and a commitment that must be carried out by example. Dr. Jami. We have been honored, not just as another politician in our world, but as an outstanding individual who even sometimes risks bad-mouthing from foreign lobbyist groups in order to implement your visions to serve the Gambia and the world. You are honored indeed, we are honored indeed that you, Dr. Yaya Jamey of the Gambia, graciously accept the honor and that you are now one of us. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Hans Arno Finke, Chairman of the Publishers and Printers Guild of Northern Germany.
With your permission, Your Excellency, may I call all of us to give His Excellency. So as to give education for all by the year 2020. Bismillah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. All praises be to Allah subhanahu wa taala, who created the seven heavens and sent to mankind the seal of the prophets, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to bring the glad tidings and guide mankind from darkness into the light against all odds. Fellow Gambians, friends of the Gambia, brothers and sisters of the Islamic Ummah, and the rest of humanity, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again for making it possible for me to address you, the people of this great nation, on the auspicious occasion of this year's Idul Adha, locally called Tawaski. As we join the Muslim Ummah to celebrate this great and sacred feast, I have the singular honor and privilege to send my heartiest congratulations to you all on my own personal behalf and on behalf of my family and the government. Tabaski reminds us about this collective sacrifice of the family of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, in a bid to fulfill the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to sacrifice their only son. This episode was a demonstration of total obedience and strong faith on the part of Ismail and his mother, Hajara, peace be upon them. The story also embody spiritual as well as social significance, which symbolizes a God-fearing family executing the will of the Almighty Allah on earth in their worldly pursuits while preparing for the hereafter. It is my sincere hope that we, as a nation, could collectively learn very important lessons from the sacrifice of this strong and unique family. The spirit of Tawaski teaches us about sacrifice and compassion with not only our families and friends, but also the poor and the needy in our midst, and the need to share with and care for those who could not afford, however little we have in our homes. Tawaski always reminds us that we do share a common humanity best exemplified by the annual Hajj to Mecca the largest spiritual gathering the world over, where millions from different racial and ethnic backgrounds gather to celebrate it with others. 